All right. So I'm really interested in what other batteries will replace a heart. Ryobi and all them make it. But since I can't answer that right now. I'd like to see what's in here. Now, 100%, I know it's going to be 18650s by the battery. 18650s are this long. And that's, what used, that's what's used in everything. Even Elon Musk's little car. Vroom, vroom, buddy. Or at least used to be. So let's, let's take a look at what's in here. All right? Let's take a look. Because these things are super expensive. Uh, so it's going to be 18650s which are 3.7 volt, 40 divided by 3.7 is what, 10.8? So you're gonna have like 11 batteries in here? Maybe 12, to put your little over. But they're all gonna have to be five amp batteries. Hey, let's get this thing open. You gotta get that little sticker to give in a little. So we immediately see it's 18650s, Samsung's 18650s. At least it's not garbage batteries. 18650s. We know there's some sort of thermal protection in here. When it gets a certain temperature, it will shut down. They have some sort of coating on these. That's why those are all shiny like that. I see the wire going away. That's usually the uh, side of the... Let's see if this comes out of here. Here's your test. Red Deer, 40 volt, version 2.0. All right, so that came out. How many do you think we got? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 batteries? Huh, are these 2,500s? batteries these maybe there's a 2500s and that's how they're getting the 5 amp yeah divided by two it's actually 37 volts I saw one interesting thing on the description of the battery where is it One interesting thing I saw here. It's saying 40 volt, 5 amp, 180 watt. That's wrong. Watts is volts times amps. It should be 200 watt. So I knew something was up. They're trying not to lie to you. So let's see, 37 volt times 5. 185 watt. So they're trying hard not to lie to you. All right, so these are 2,500. These are not 5 amp batteries. So that's pretty interesting. So what they have is it's two banks of 10. So it's... Uh, 37 volt, 37 volt, uh, 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 two and a half amp each to make the five amp. And this here is probably your thermal check. Actually, with a single wire coming over, is checking your thermals. See, I wanted to see what was in here. So they are screwed together. There's a screw down in there. 
another screw there, screw there, screw there. See the, so the cage is screwed together there. See, I was thinking of taking those, like if this thing ever died, well, it's going to die in a couple of years and taking those. Oh, what did I get? 3,500 milliamp batteries, 33.5 amp batteries. And those clearance things that I bought recently, where I bought a ton of them because I figured I could use those batteries eventually. The pain in the ass is getting these. I don't have something that'll um, weld this to the battery. I need something that'll that'll weld the metal to the battery because soldering soldering to the to a battery really sucks. But I guess it's all about heat and uh, flux. It's possible, and they are giving you enough room. Because when you solder, you leave a blob. You do have a big enough gap where you could solder. Hmm. I'd like to find one of these dead on eBay and put in those three and a half amp batteries. Uh, yeah, batteries I have. That'll get me a seven. That'll make me a seven amp battery. I wonder if the circuitry would would charge it. It probably watches voltage. Uh, that would be pretty cool. So anyway, of course it's 18650s. It's they're they're two. F they're um. I mean, I guess that's the mo no, it's not the model number. We can't see the model number. Maybe the model number is the 25R because that's signifying these are 2.5 amp. Uh, TJY. We probably could look it up. Samsung. I'm sure there's not that many different. Let's see if there's any battery in here. Oh, here's one a little bit more open. Uh, we still can't see it. And now I'm at risk of getting shocked. All right, so I just wanted to see what the hell was in there. And it is 18650s. That's what everything has in it in these days. These batteries rule the world, pretty much. All right. Usually what manufacturers do is they'll put double-sided tape here, the foam tape. They'll put it here so that it gets held into the plastic and, the, and can't bounce around. I don't know why they didn't do it here. Maybe, maybe higher, um, higher up stuff. They'll do that. So anyway, if you were a scumbag, you could buy the 4 amp version of this, open it up, and swap it to the 5 amp. You know? Who would do that? Are you a scumbag? I think this goes this way. Make sure we get our sticker on the outside over there. That's it. That is your HLB PO3. That's the 5 amp version. The 2 amp version, sorry, the 4 amp version is a PO2. <laughs> nine one one, not nine nine one. <laughs> 